Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. And we're going to give a little bio before we open up the figure and look at it, the figure itself. The bio on this kid, he's always scared. But when he's sleeping, he's like a real warrior. But when he's not, he's like a real scaredy cat as much as Phoenix is. <laughs> My sister's cat. <laughs> But other than that, he's a good fighter with his sword, and I'm so glad to be adding this to my Demon Slayer collection. I do have a Nezuko figure, but she is missing a piece of her hair now, so until I get a new one, I won't be able to do any comparisons. Sorry about that. But other than that, this is a really good figure. So glad to be owning it in my collection. But now we can look at the figure itself in the packaging and then open it. We got Zenizu here, Demon Slayer. This is made by McFarlane. This is how much we paid for it at GameStop. Ten bucks, so pretty good. And yeah, I got another, got his cloak and stuff on him. Stuff he doesn't have on this figure very much. I wish they would have included the cape, but other than that... Or the cloak. A good looking figure. But now we're going to get down to opening this figure. And pulling it out of its plastic prison. <laughs> As the saying goes. Easy to get open. Now let's get him out. Very simple. Just using the plastic technique. Ooh. Yeah, it came out easily. So now we get his sword out without messing the sword up. Come on, swordy sword. Aha! Now we got his sword. What's a demon slayer without his trusty katana? Or his blade of slaying demons? Demon slayer katana. Ooh, it, this handle is so tight I have to do a little trick just to get it into his hand. Well, once it's in his hand, it'll be easy to review. <laughs> And now we got Zenitsu wielding his katana. The only thing that moves are the arms, but no leg articulation. Man, they really skipped out on him. Waist articulation. Arm articulation. No ball joints at the arms. Head does not move very well. But otherwise, a good-looking figure. Am I definitely glad to be adding this kid to my collection? Yes, I love Demon Slayer. I watched the anime and I was hooked on it. Is this figure worth 10 bucks? I'd say yes. He's a lot of fun to mess around with. I wish he would have had more leg articulation, but other than that, I have no nitpicks on this figure. It's really well sculpted and really well painted, but I wish they would have gone the extra effort to give him more articulation. It's a little bit better than most, but not as good as the McFarlane My Hero Academia pose ability on some of these 5-inch figures. But these Demon Slayer 5-inch figures, no knees or no moving legs whatsoever. So that's the only problem I have with it. Other than that, it's a good-looking figure. The sword looks pretty good and really well sculpted and painted. The body's well done with the paint, but is missing... <laughs> His little kimono cloak. That's the only problem I have with it. But other than that, it's a good looking figure. Definitely looking forward to adding this to my anime collection. Would I highly recommend this? Yes. If you can get it for cheaper than when I paid for it. Like five bucks or something. It'd be more worth it. But given I paid ten bucks for it. It is what it is. For the nitpicks. And this is Eddie Hill. Before I move on and rock on and rock out. If you enjoyed this anime figure review of Zenitsu from Demon Slayer as much as I enjoyed making it. Please make sure to hit that like. Hit that comment. And hit that subscribe. 
And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.